See, these are all granulosa cells and you can see an egg with humulus, corona cumulus complex. It looks like this, but when we do ICSI, then we have to remove all these things and then I will show you how the sperms are being caught and how they are hit at tail. By you can see the needle is hitting the tail and they got immobilized, they got stunned. So now the tail will be taken first. And they got stunned. Again hitting that tail. They got stunned. Lying is found with will be taken into the needle. In the tail first and this is going into the needle. Now these sperms will be injected later. Human oocyte after denudation. We have removed all the things covering. This is gonna and this is polar body. And this is M2 side, beta is 2 side. And this is the holding pivot coming. There will be slight suction, so the eggs are being stabilized. And this is the needle coming with sperm inside. So it is hold. Now you can see the sperm and it is going inside and this is the sperm. And we aspirate little bit of cytoplasm. She to confirm that she is inside the cytoplasm, you can see the cytoplasm going. Now gradually this sperm will be injected into the, you can see the sperm is coming. And now needle is left, sperm is left over here. This is one oocyte injected and oocyte denuded egg. And this cell is most likely this is polar body. And it is hold by and this injection is being done. And you can see the sperm coming. It is going inside the cytoplasm. To confirm that she will into the egg because it is three dimensional and we are looking at two dimensional. So cytoplasm is aspirated and then it is injected and this is the sperm head with tail and the needle is out. In, this is an embryology lab and you can see there are two instruments. One is multi-chamber incubator and we have six individual chambers into that. This is a dry incubator and this is a box incubator with humidification. You can see a lot of dishes over there. These incubators are like womb, like uterus. And with them, we use the, to culture the injected oocyte or fertilized egg for five days. They give an environment of same like fallopian tube or uterus, but it comes in uterus after five days. So for five days to maintain this life and to grow them, these incubators are very important. These incubators have temperature, a fixed carbon dioxide concentration, a fixed oxygen concentration, and most important thing is to maintain the pH of the condition where the eggs or embryos are growing. 